Okay, so before we dive into actually using Git, uh, I want to show you where you can get it in case you don't already have it. Um, so if you go to git-scm.com, so git-scm.com, uh, this is the official site for Git. You can read all about it. There's tons of documentation. Our goal is so that you don't actually have to read that kind of that kind of stuff. Um, but also there's some links to the different uh, download resources. So if you're using Mac like I am, uh, you can click download for Mac. There's a couple of different ways to get it. If you already have installed Xcode, then you have Git anyway. So you don't have to worry about it. Uh, if you don't have Xcode, because maybe you're doing like uh, you're trying to learn Android and you have Android Studio or something like that, you can get it via another program called Homebrew. So Homebrew is just um, it's a way of it's homebrew is a program that helps you install other programs on Mac. Uh, and so, so you can kind of see an, ex, an example from the, the terminal or the command line, that window where you type, type instructions into, uh, homebrew installs a program called brew. And then that allows you to install things like Git. Uh, if you, even if you have Xcode, I would recommend installing homebrew. There's a whole bunch of, good reasons for it, but we don't have to worry about that right now. If you have a Mac, or sorry, if you have Windows, you can go to this link, Windows Build here. Uh, it automatically started a download. Um, and, and, but make sure that it's, make sure that it is the correct one. It looks like to me that it automatically started the 32-bit uh, version. So it's, I guess it's just trying to guess my operating system, but uh, if you're not sure what computer you have, if it's a if it's any kind of newer one, like within the last five or ten years, yeah, let's say five to seven years, you probably have a 64-bit machine. So that's the one that you want to download. Um, otherwise, download that 32-bit machine if you have a really old old computer. If you have a really old computer, you're probably not uh, trying to run Android Studio though. So uh, again. 64 bit is is the one you're going for after you install this it should install something to your start like the windows start menu uh, a program called git bash and that's the one that you're going to want to run things are going to look a little bit different if you're on windows but it's all the exact same command so you don't have to worry about it all right uh yeah so in the next video we're gonna actually start running commands for Git.